Several social media sites have joined Democrats in censoring posts about the alleged whistleblower. One example is OAN reporter Neil W. McCabe, who was logged out of his Twitter account after tweeting his report from the alleged whistleblower's home. Here's Neil's report from the White House. Late Friday night, I received notice from Twitter that I was locked out of my Twitter account because two of my tweets about my report from the Washington residence of Eric Sharamilla, the CIA analyst who has been identified as the alleged whistleblower, violated Twitter rules. After looking for Eric Charamella in Connecticut, One American News went to the Washington residence of the CIA analyst. Just a 20-minute walk to the White House, where he was assigned to the National Security Council staff as one of Vice President Joe Biden's advisors when Biden controlled American policy with Ukraine. When Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster became President Donald Trump's national security advisor in February 2017, the general moved Charamella from the staffer offices in the old Executive Office Building, or Eisenhower Building, to the West Wing, next to McMaster's office, so that Charamella could serve as the general's confidential assistant. Although Charamella's detail to the White House was cut short, from his CIA perch, he apparently remained in contact with policy allies inside the White House staff, leading media outlets to name him as the so-called whistleblower, whose August 12th complaint to the intelligence community, Inspector General, gave Speaker Nancy Pelosi the excuse to begin the current impeachment proceedings against the president. I spoke to Washington-based national security attorney Leslie McAdoo Gordon about the idea that a federal whistleblower's name is somehow sealed from public disclosure. Here's what she had to say. There seems to be this idea that the whistleblower is somehow, quote unquote, entitled to anonymity, to have their identity remain confidential. And that does not come out of the whistleblower law. There is no such statute, executive order, rule, reg. There is no law that says that a whistleblower's identity is to be protected, that, that they can get anonymity. In neither of the two tweets cited by Twitter for violating its policies did I give out the Washington address, nor did I use the address in my report. In fact, in the report, the name of the building and the street number were deliberately blurred, even though the address was found through a public record search. Shortly after I was locked out of Twitter, I submitted an appeal, which is still pending. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, at the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.